Hello everyone, Photoshop made my childhood dreams come true. You can finally do with Photoshop what you always wanted to do with Photoshop. So here I am as a boudoir photographer thinking about what can we do as boudoir photographers in studio when we use the new Photoshop AI. So let me start and see what we come up with. So first of all, you download your Photoshop AI better in your cloud and then this nice new program open. The way you use it is you open up this contextual task bar, which is this little thingy right here. You use your lasso tool or your rectangular marquee tool to basically tell AI where to put things, right? So let me just start with this tool right here. And I want to put in some more house plants. So generate a fill will fill this area with house plants. If I put in house plants or with whatever it thinks could fit there, taking it from the surroundings if you put in nothing. So I'm going to put in house plants and I'm going to click on generate and see what's going on. Let's see what we can do. There you go. I actually like this and you can see it created a generative layer right here that you can actually turn on and off if you don't like something. And here you can click through the different options. Oh, that's a nice one. That's also really cool that you could use, right? So I really like this one. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to go use the rectangular marquee tool again and put another house plant right here. House plant and see what AI comes up with. So this is a really great way to fill your room with plants if all your plants die. Just like my plants, my plants always die in my studio. Okay, let's see what they did here. Okay, I see, I see, but I don't like that. So I'm going to generate again and see what it comes up with. Okay, very interesting. Okay, that one looks good. I don't know if I want to pot there. So I'm going to go with this right there. Okay, so now I'm going to go up here and try something else. Let me try mirror and see what happens. Okay, interesting, 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 but no, it does not fit. So I'm going to turn this layer off and I'm just going to try that one more time. And I put in jungle for like some jungle flowers and let's see what happens. Okay, I really like this mix. Oh, I love this too, but I really love this right here. So I'm going to keep that because it looks like it's in a room somewhere. So now I'm going to generate something really fun. I'm going to put it right here over her body and I'm going to use this also for censoring bodies. I put in a snake. Let's see. Okay, you see this snake? It's beautiful, beautiful snake. Beautiful snake. Which one do we take? I think I want to take this one. So there we have a snake. And I'm actually going to put in a snake right here as well and see what happens. So this better still has problems with fingers and arms and putting things around it sometimes. So I'm just going to leave that alone. That will belong to the AI fails. Let's see what happened. Nothing. That is weird. Look at this. It's changing the necklace. Okay, that didn't work. So we're going to turn that layer off. I'm going to try to put the snake here, maybe. Okay, that looks better. Oh, I like that one. 
and not this one so much, but that one is a good one. So I'm going to keep this. Now I'm going to attempt, attempt something a little bit dangerous. I'm going to try to exchange this here with a tarantula. Let's see. There we go. Isn't that so great? That's amazing. So now we have successfully censored our image and made something great out of it and something fun. And I could go on and on and on, but this is my new thing and I invite you all to do this too. And if you do, please tag me on Instagram at the Jasmine Jade. And also, if you're in my group, The Empowered Portrait with Jasmine Jade on Facebook, please show me what you did and please, please, please tell us how you did it. That's it for now.